Hey YouTube, Squidfish99. Um, just smoking some <laughs> Frog Morton in my father's homemade pipe. Second pipe he ever really made. Uh, just came from the record store. I do collect vinyl. I'll show some of that later. I picked this interesting. It's a swing record. Um, it comes in a really neat packaging. Um, really cool plastic kind of a box. Um, so I can't wait to break this open and listen to it and look at it a little closer. A dollar eighty nine. You can't beat that. So. <laughs> And I am here today with Frank. I'm going to have him do his own video a little bit. Start his own video thing. He's just ham radio and vinyl collecting too and stuff. So this is Frank. Yeah, more than just vinyl and ham radio, but I've also, I'm, I, I'm actually kind of a pack rat. <laughs> I collect a lot of stuff. And I'm over here smoking a bowl full of uh, Captain Black. And, uh, let's see, what happened to that right, pouch? Right there. There it is. <laughs> Captain Black Royal. <clears throat> Captain Black Royal. And, um, it says, aromatic black and golden Cavendish, exceptionally mild, delightfully aromatic. And it's actually pretty darn good, too. Nice, uh, nice draw. Not, not harsh at all. Very, very pleasant to taste. Smoking in a Peterson? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, forgot about that. Peterson, Peterson pipe. System standard. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know much about pipes. My dad, my dad had quite a few, but I myself, I was the kind of person who could take or leave them. I mean, I did do some uh, some, uh, some some pipe tobacco, some pipe smoking back in the late seventies and early eighties, but I wasn't a person who did it. Mm -hmm. As a defined hobby. Borkum Reef. Borkum <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there was, that was my, uh, that, that was the one that I smoked the most was Borkum Reef. My dad smoked Edgeworth. Um, then there was this one tobacconist out at Northridge Shopping Center in Salinas. Borkum years. Riff. Borkum Riff, yes. <laughs> there was this one, one tobacconist out in the short Northridge Shopping Center. This is back in the very early 80s, late 70s. And they had a mixture that tasted really interesting called Camelot. Hmm. Um, haven't a clue where to get it now, because <clears throat> the because the tobacconist doesn't exist. But that's that's what I that's another thing that I smoked was was the Camelot, and uh, named for of course the place where King Arthur had his um, had hold, held court was in Camelot, and uh, that's pretty much, pretty much that, and that was an interesting, as I said, it was an interesting, I don't remember a lot of it, because as I said, you know, this, we're talking late 70s, early 80s, so it's been quite a long while that I, uh, that I had tasted that. If uh, anybody out there might know about where I might be able to find that blend again, or another blend that might be called Camelot. <laughs> um, perhaps you can let uh, uh, Squid Fisherman 99 know, or he'll let me know. Sounds good. Yes. Uh, so that was Frank doing his update. Uh, we'll do another video with him. He can talk about records and things. Oh, you betcha! <laughs> That's his big thing. So, we're hanging out here at the beach. Haven't been here in a while. I haven't smoked a pipe in a while. Um, but, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Really nice uh, Frogmorton. Smokes wonderful in this pipe. He hasn't had a Frogmorton yet, so maybe I'll just have him a bowl of Frogmorton later or something. There you go. Steve Hall is another one I like a lot. Oh, couple sure. A couple of the McClellan blends. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of tobacco here. I got my uh, Great Outdoors. I'm a diabetic man, he just sent me that. Three tins. And I <laughs> will be getting some things together for him. <laughs> Sending him back some good tobacco in return. All right, with that, um, take care. Um, Russell, I've been trying to get a hold of you, but. 
I got some message for you to, um, I sent you my email address at one time, so, uh, hopefully you got it, let me know, alright, I'll talk to you all later, bye. <laughs>